Good morning, first graders. Happy Friday. Mr. Christian, back to read you another read aloud. Today's read aloud, we're going to be reading The Elephant's Ears. Now, the author of this book is Catherine Chambers, and the illustrator is Caroline Mockford. So, I hope you have a comfortable place to sit. You have both ears open. Your eyes focus on the screen. And let's get started. The elephant's ears. At the foot of a snow covered mountain, there lived a mother elephant. She had two young calves, a boy called Palo and a girl called Mala and they looked almost the same, except that Paolo had small, neat ears, and Mala had wide, flapping ears. So, let's see if we can find out which one is Paolo and which one is Mala. So, Paolo has, has small, neat ears, and Mala has wide, flapping ears. So which one of these two elephants is Paolo? And which one is Mala? What do you think? Take a look. Which one is Paolo? And which one is Mala? Remember, Paolo has small, neat ears, and Mala has wide, flapping ears. So Paolo the boy is this one, because he has small, neat ears. And Mala is this one. Mala the girl, she has those wide, flapping ears. Paolo and Mala played happily all day long. Paolo shared mangoes with the baboons in the forest at the foot of the mountain. Mala ran with the zebra that raced across the hot, dry grasslands. Let's count how many mangoes there are on the tree and on the floor. All right, let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one that the baboon is holding, 10. There are 10 mangoes in this picture. And how many zebras are there? Let's look. How many zebras are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, and four. Four zebras. In the evening, as the shadows grew longer, Paolo and Mala made their way home. Mother Elephant found them a safe place to rest for the night. There, Mala tossed and turned, while Paolo snuggled down and fell fast asleep. The young elephants grew fast. They stopped playing with the animals that roamed around the mountain. It was soon time for them to go out in the world and live their own lives. Mother Elephant watched them closely, shaking her head sadly and whisking her tail. Oh, Paolo and Mala, you are so very different from each other, she said. I just don't know what kind of life will be best for you both. Ah, crooned a mother elephant, nodding her head at Paolo. You with your neat little ears and soft, gentle ways, you will be happiest in the place where you can work hard and live peacefully. Oh, she trumpeted, shaking her head at Mala. 
You with your grand flapping ears and wild, wild ways, you will be happiest in the place where you can feel free. Mother Elephant rocked from side to side, thinking hard. She watched Paolo collecting piles of leaves and bark for the family's lunch, while Mala rolled happily in a muddy pool. Then Mother Elephant looked up and saw a tiny black dot circling the mountain top. It was a giant black eagle kind and wise. Now Mother Elephant knew exactly what to do. She lifted her trunk and roared, Oh, Queen of the Mountain, please help me to find a place for Paolo and Mala in the great wide world. Huh, I wonder if that giant black eagle has any powers. Hmm. Let's find out. The tiny black dot stopped suddenly and swooped and whirled down the mountain towards Mother Elephant. The great eagle settled on a thorn tree, her black satin wings shining in the hot sun. I heard your cry, said the great eagle, and I will search the world to find a home for Paolo and Mala. Trust me. She flapped her wide wings blowing the dust into a billowing red cloud. Then she began to circle the earth. The great eagle looked down and saw vast oceans and huge mountain ranges. But more than this, she saw a piece of earth cut in the shape of Paolo's ear. Moving westward, she spied a piece of earth cut into the shape of Mala's ear. Ooh, oh, I see the shapes. So this pink shape right here matches Paolo's ear. Remember, because Paolo has those short, neat ears. And over here, this ear matches Mala's ear. Because it's big and flappy like her ear. And this kind of looks like, this actually looks like one of the big areas of land on the map. It's called the continent. This is the continent of Africa. And here, this is in the continent. It looks like this is the country of India. With great excitement, the wise eagle made her way back to the mountain. As she flew, she called upon a white egret and a pink flamingo to follow her. Sitting once more in the thorn tree, the queen of the mountain called Paolo and Mala to her side. Now, she said, I have searched the whole earth, but I haven't found a place where Paolo and Mala can live together. Mother Elephant shook her head sadly. But, continued the wise eagle, I have found two homes where each of them can find happiness. The great eagle turned to Paolo. Now, Paolo, she said, I have found the perfect place for you. Follow the white egret. He will lead you there. She turned to Mala. Now, Mala, she said, I have found the perfect place for you. Just follow the pink flamingo. He will lead you there. Mother Elephant knew that it was time for Paolo and Mala to leave their home. She wrapped her long trunk around them and held them both tight. Goodbye, Paolo, she said. 
Be fair and wise. Goodbye, Mala. Be kind and strong. And with a loud, loud trumpet, Mother Elephant finally let them go. Paolo walked and walked until the white egret spied land into the shape of Paolo's ear. It was India. There, Paolo stopped. So yeah, Paolo is walking towards this country that's called India. Country of India. Mala walked and walked until the pink flamingo spied land in the shape of Mala's ear. It was Africa. There, Mala stopped. Mala ends up going to the continent of Africa. Remember, the continent of Africa has a lot of different countries. So Africa is not a country. It is a continent. It's a bigger piece of land that has a lot of countries inside of it. That's where Mala is going. In his new home, Paolo learned how to clear the narrow paths that wound around the trees. He learned how to walk carefully with children on his back. Other elephants, just like Paolo, found their way to the forests of India. Paolo taught them all he knew and he became a wise judge among them. In her new home, Mala learned how to find plenty of food and cool pools of water. At night, she found the safest places to rest. She learned how to protect her calves from the dangers of the plains. Other elephants, just like Mala, found their way to the grasslands of Africa. Mala taught them all she knew, and she became a great leader among them. And that is how the Indian elephant, with its neat ears and quiet ways, and the African elephant, with its grand ears and excitable ways, found their homelands. And that is the end of the Read Aloud. All right, first grade, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful weekend this weekend. And we will see you all on Monday.